guys, it's Laurie. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope you're all doing well. Today, I am co-hosting the useful DIY challenge for April 2020 with my dear friend Moom from Moom Das Life Handmade. Because we're all staying home and being safe, the theme for this month's challenge is use your stash or trash to treasure. If you're joining us, you can add your video to the playlist below. And if you have any difficulty at all, either contact Moom or myself and we'll gladly help you out and make sure that your video gets onto the playlist. I hope you enjoy watching all the amazing tutorials. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you think you'd like to come back and hang out with me again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below and make sure you tap on the notification bell that will notify you every time I upload a new video. I'm starting this first project with a vintage teacup and saucer. It was actually my grandmother's and I found it broken in a box and I couldn't bear to part with it. So I thought I would turn it into a little hanging bird feeder. Starting off, I'm using some E6000 to reattach the handle. There's a chip on the edge of the saucer, so I'm going to cover it up so no one gets injured. I'm using a popsicle stick and the base of a foam paintbrush as the perch. I'm painting both pieces with this light brown paint. Once everything is dry, it's now time to add the perch to the plate. I shortened up the popsicle stick by cutting about an inch off the end. Once again, I used my E6000 and attached the popsicle stick to the bottom side of the saucer. I made sure to cover the chip on the edge. I then added the rounded piece to the top. I then attached the two wooden pieces together. I let both pieces set up for 48 hours. I'm gluing the cup and the saucer together, so I'm using some sandpaper and I'm trying to remove some of the shiny finish on both. To attach them, I'm using a generous amount of E6000 on both pieces. After attaching both pieces together, I made sure that the cup lined up with the perch. To hold everything steady and in place, I used some painter's tape. I let it set up for 24 hours and then remove the tape. For the hanger, I'm using a piece of vintage lace. It's actually left over from a wreath project that I made. I'll link that below in case you'd like to check it out. To make the hanger, all I did was slide the lace through the handle of the cup. I then secured the pieces together with a tight knot. I trimmed the end of the lace and then I hot glued some greenery to the top. Once that was done, all that was left was to add some seed and hang it outside for the birds. For my second project, I'm making a rustic broom butterfly. I'm using these four brooms that I had on hand. For its body, I'm using an old coffee table leg. I cut all the broom heads away from the handles. When I was done, I trimmed the ends down so they had a flat surface. To help hold the brooms together, I added some hot glue to each of the ends. I'm transforming these brooms into butterfly wings, so I gave them a haircut. I trimmed all four of them, but I cut two a little bit smaller. I sprayed both sets coral with my floral spray paint. I hot glued the ends of the two larger wings together. I then hot glued the two smaller wings together and attached them to the larger wings. To make the body of the butterfly, I'm painting the table leg and I'm also painting this round wooden 
ball. It has a hole in the bottom, and then I also drilled two holes in the top for the butterflies antennae. I'm using paint that I already have on hand, so I'm painting both of them in this pretty acrylic buttercream. Once the paint had dried, I'm now attaching the butterfly's body to the wings using some E6000. To help the process speed up a little quicker, I'm also adding some hot glue. I pressed it into place and let it set for 24 hours. To give the wings a little more stability and to cover the back, I'm using this extra large craft stick. I rounded the corners, painted it, and attached it to the back of the wings. I'm using the colors purple and periwinkle to accent the wings. I watered down the paint, and then using an old brush, I accented the outside edges of the wings. Once the outside was complete, I then added some stripes through the center. I painted the two larger wings in the purple, and then I followed up and painted the two smaller wings with the periwinkle. I needed some antennae for the butterfly, so I'm using the wire from this old wooden star. I now have two antennae for the butterfly, and I'm going to accent them with these wooden beads. I placed a dot of E6000 on the end of the bead and then slipped it onto the wire. Once they were complete, I glued them into the small holes that I had drilled into the wooden ball. I'm hanging this butterfly on my barn door, so I want to add some color to it. Using the same purple and periwinkle paint, I'm going to dot up the beads. After accenting the beads, I used the bottom of a larger paintbrush, and then I added the same accent onto the body. I added two little eyes on the face. With everything painted, I then attached its head. Because I'm hanging it on my barn, I really want a rustic look, so I'm using a piece of sandpaper, and I'm going to give it a really good sanding. With everything sanded, the last step is to add one final coat of paint. I've watered down this pretty coral that matches the wings. I'm then giving the body and the head a final coat. The end result of four brooms and a coffee table leg is this beautiful rustic butterfly. I attached a wire to the back and hung it on my barn. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you had fun making these trash to treasure projects with me. If you haven't yet subscribed and you think you'd like to come back and hang out with me again, don't forget to click the little red subscribe button below. Be safe and I will see you soon. Bye everybody!